Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and again, dressed for a funeral. It's going to be a theme in these ghost stories looking like this. I hope you appreciate the effort I have gone to dawning one of my fabulous gowns. So today we are doing a ghost story called Noose for a Strangler. Ooh. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am the Midnight Raven. This is a new series on my channel looking at ghost stories. I know it's not Halloween and I know it's July but I'm feeling a bit like a ghosty mood so let's get into this story. So George was a petty thief. He operated from London's seedy Soho red light district in the early years of the century. On the 1st of March 1910 George was on a street when he saw a seller's cart. Now, on this seller's cart was a three-foot length of woven silk rope, and he recognized it as a thuggy. Now, a thuggy is a cord used by Hindu assassins in the Middle East, and it was used by an assassin Hindu sect to get rid of their victims. So, George would buy it from this street seller, and would even go on to use it for its purpose. So George was having some issues with a girl called Bessie Graves. She expected him to marry her because she was pregnant. George had wooed her under a fake name. He called himself Arthur, but had found another rich widow called Stella who he was interested in. So the plot does thicken. A pregnant girl, a rich widow, weighing up his options. Police would find Bessie dead, strangled by a cord around her throat. Police believed that Arthur had killed Bessie, obviously, to go with the rich widow or to get rid of the unwanted baby. Either of these options could be looked at. So George, weeks later, was still pursuing the widow. At this point, it was only theorised that maybe he had killed her. They were still looking into the case. So he continued to pursue the widow. So one night, wanting to be more impressive, he called on the widow in a cab. Minutes later, George was screaming in the cab and claimed to have Bessie sitting next to him on the seat. But Bessie had been dead for weeks. Was this a conscience playing on his mind? Guilt, maybe? So George would start to drink heavily after having this um, reaction to seeing Bessie. Was he being haunted? Was it guilt? Did he suddenly have a conscience over killing his pregnant girlfriend? So George had started to drink heavily. And that evening had gone to see the widow. He would give her a stolen diamond ring and shared a bottle of champagne with her. He then went on to go into the cellar to get another bottle of champagne to continue the festivities. On getting halfway down the stairs again, had seen Bessie coming out of the darkness. And as he walked down the stairs, he would fall to the bottom. Now, you may think that maybe the ghost could push him. Can a ghost push you down the stairs? Not necessarily, but they can scare you enough while you're in a drunk state to maybe fall. So, George had landed at the bottom of the stairs. He went to hospital where he claimed he had seen Bessie. So, Maybe he had bumped his head a bit hard, maybe had a bit of concussion, seeing visions of his ex-girlfriend, who had literally died weeks before. So he, George believed that he was being haunted by Bessie's ghost while living in the UK. So how do you fix the problem of your dead ex-partner who was having your child? You move, obviously. So he would leave for Quebec on a liner, thinking that his troubles would be left in the UK. So he boarded this liner. 
he checked into a hotel the night before the ship was due to set sail. The ship set sail and Bessie would show up and then disappear that night. George would confess in a letter while waiting in the hotel saying that he had killed Bessie. He had basically had enough. He had been haunted to the point of no return. When the hotel staff came to the room earlier that day after he hadn't checked out, they would find that George had hung himself from a bean with a cord. Now, the hotel staff would read this letter claiming that he had confessed to the murder of Bessie and claimed that the hauntings he had suffered had drove him to kill himself whether it was through guilt, whether it was through his own conscience, or whether he just wanted the hauntings to stop. The cord that was tied around his neck that made him hung himself, the cord would disappear from the police evidence vault. And this was the same thuggy cord that had killed Bessie that George had purchased from the market stall. Had Bessie come back from the dead, haunted George, and then killed him with the same thuggy cord that he had purchased to kill Bessie? Had he accidentally fallen down the stairs just in a drunken stoop? Had he killed himself because he felt guilty of Bessie's death? Or had he actually killed her? A lot of these questions are interesting, but the fact that the cord disappeared maybe would suggest that Bessie got her revenge and then took the thuddy cord and it disappeared. Who knows? I don't know much about Hindu assassin sex, so this story was new to me. But apparently a thuggy cord is used by a Hindu assassin sect in the Middle East to get rid of their bodies. Who knew? So if you like this strange case called Noose for a Strangler, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave the playlist that I have started. It only contains a few stories right now. I'm in the works of doing some more. Let me know if you like these. In the future, I am doing some longer stories. They're going to be probably around about 10 minutes. So there'll be some little stories and then there'll be some longer ones. So we can like gauge between a longer and a shorter story depending on the mood you're in. But if you want to like, subscribe and give us a big thumbs up, also comment down below. What do you think of the dress? Am I rocking the funeral look in each of these videos? Because all I own is like really depressing funeral wear. It's just my style. And the hat, obviously, from everything £5. If you want to purchase that, go ahead. Not sponsored, but I do love the hat. It does go with the aesthetic. So if you want to see more of these, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. If you want to help the channel, PayPal, a super chat, a super thanks, or become a member. And every little helps. And I will see you very soon for another ghost story. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.